big old butt crack in it. Garbage disposal. It's leaking. You're gonna have to change it out. Or you can just put a, put a big old gooper of uh, caulk in there like I see some people online doing. These garbage disposals plug in. I guess that's legal here in Florida. So does the dishwasher. Plugs in back there behind it. I noticed it was leaking when I was, this is a turn. I was doing the make ready and was running the water and it was leaking all over here. So we'll just change it out. Well, I got a confession to make, Skid Bros. Y'all remember that last video I did where the compressor was bad? Well, I put in a new unit, a whole new condensing unit. Uh, uh, they're under warranty, so and it was around the Christmas holiday, and the guy that gets them for us was out on Christmas for Christmas, so we couldn't get the, the warranty part. So my property manager says, "What would make it easier on you to handle this situation?" I said, oh, "Well, well, the easiest thing to do would just be replace the whole condenser." So that's what she did. She said, "Merry Christmas," and got me a new condenser, and I, I put it in. And I didn't film it. That's my confession. Sorry, guys. I just, man, I haven't done a uh, condenser changeout since 2008. So I wanted to concentrate, and make sure I got all the steps and all that stuff. And this property's still fairly new. It's about six years old, so we don't have to do a lot of changing out. I mean, maybe, maybe once a year, if that. So that's why I didn't film it. I wanted to concentrate. So you have to forgive me. I'll do the next one. I promise. I just needed to dust off my old brain because the last one I did was 2008, and that was our R22 system. I'm sure some anonymous basement dwellers are saying, "Oh, you didn't film it because you didn't actually put it in." No, I, I did. I actually did. I was texting the crap out of Joe Shear just to make sure I was getting everything right. So maybe he'll vouch for me in, in the comments section. I'll go uh, show you when I get done here at the end of this video. I'll show you the new unit. I'll pull this out and we'll be ready for the new one. This just comes off on the bottom. Pull that out. Boom. This has a nut. Smack things with a hammer just because it's more fun. That's all. A little more action. Alright, we're ready for the new one. I'll clean that up. Get it nice and smooth for my new plumber's putty. And I don't have any of these, so I'll, I'll leave this on. It feels good too. It's not all dry rotted, it's still good. The new one doesn't come with it with one of these, and I like these better because they go over the lip and it's got a little pocket on it where it fits the, the end of the PVC into the pocket. But this one's good, so I'm going to leave it on there. Take this all apart. Pop that ring out. It'll all come undone for you. All of this goes underneath, and that just goes on top. With some plumber's putty on it, of course. Plumber's putty in effect. Drop the old basket in there. And for this part, I just put my heavy butt tool bag into the sink, because you're gonna have to get this stuff up on there and you want to keep it from lifting up. Look at that pipe, or the pipe dope, um, plumber's putty off of there. So yeah, you want to keep this from lifting up, so that's why I put my heavy butt tool bag in there. Yeah, this part takes patience. So 
So once you get the goodies up there, now you gotta get the ring around the bottom. A little practice, a little patience, maybe a few words you don't say around your kids, and you'll get it. Ah, see it lifted up on me. Gotta readjust my tool bag. Alright, I had to change the game up a little bit. Old disposal box with old disposal in it, tool bag on top. That sucker's weighted down now. I've had some people tell me that they use tape. They'll tape it up there. I don't have any tape strong enough for that. This is always the fun part, I tell you. Once you get past this part, it's all downhill. It's fairly easy. Almost there. Come on, skid. There we go. Ring is on. After all these years, that part is still a pain in the butt. Okay, now I just tighten the old little screws up. Get my issues whistling with screws. I'm not gonna film this whole part. All you do is just go around the whole deal and tighten those screws up till it's tight. All right, it's good and tight. All right, new guys, one important part especially if you're on call. Make sure you knock this plug out in here. I just get a, a hammer and a flathead, boom, 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 and knock it out. Very important part, because somebody will find it when they're washing dishes at 3.30 in the morning. For some reason, they wash dishes at 3.30 in the morning. I don't know why. All right, the plug is knocked out. This part's always hard to film, so I'll just have to tell you here. You want to get this little lip here to go right along that rail there, and you slide it up to the top. She's tight. Put the dishwasher drain plug in. Or the dishwasher drain hose, that is, over the plug that we knocked out. That's why you want to knock that plug out. Somebody will be washing dishes. Then it won't drain. And you have a mess. Yeah, the one that comes with this disposal, see, it's just straight. I like the ones that have the little pocket where the end of the uh, PVC pipe goes into that pocket and covers it good. Let's see if I can show you. See how the end is covered? I like these kind. And this one's still good. If it was dry rotted or anything, I'd handle it, replace it, go find one. Just gonna tighten her down. All right, it's nice and tight. Plug it in. And plug it in. Plug it in. There we go. Do a little check. Make sure I'm good. I'm gonna check the leakers. Make sure it's not leaking. I think 
think we're good. I'm going to let it roll for about five minutes. I think we're good. It's good, bros. Do the old plug. Plug test. It works, too. You have to excuse the old Ryobi. A lot of guys give me hell for that. Alright, I think we're good. No leaks. No water. No drippies. There's the old one. Big old butt crack. All right, now I'll go show you the, uh, the unit I put in when that compressor went out. All right, there it is. That's the one I put in when that compressor died. Thank goodness the property manager asked me what would be easier. And uh, here's my braze for all the anonymous basement dwellers that would love to, would love to stop by and take my work apart. So yeah, that's it. Brand new Goodman. Uh, Two and a half ton. It's a little bigger than the other ones I noticed. It's a two and a half ton, just like the, the one I took out. 14 sear. Also learned that it's illegal now to install a 13 sear unit in the southeast. So I learned that while I was ordering this thing. Gotta have a 14 sear now. Yeah, and again, I apologize for not filming it, dudes. I just wanted to concentrate and remember all the steps. You know, to remove the valve cores and wrap the. Uh, the service valves with wet rags and all that stuff I didn't want to cook the, the valves just remembering all the little little things I, you know it's just been a while man and again I was texting the crap out of Joe Shear if y'all don't know who he is he has a YouTube channel as well he's from my hometown I was just texting him just to make sure everything was cool and little reminders because you know if I cooked the valves or did anything stupid that would have been a, an expensive mistake so that's why I didn't film it, man. You know, I'll get the next one. I apologize. I just wanted to concentrate and not have to worry about where's my camera and talking and all that stuff. All right, that's it. Thank you all for watching the Dirty Maintenance Show.